Welcome to Lakeshore RV. I'll be walking you through your cyclone on your very front here. You're going to have a 12 volt battery as well as your hydraulic fluid. Inside the top compartment is going to be access into the passer. You're going to have access into this passer at all three different angles. Right below this compartment, you're going to have your generator. You're going to have your toggle switch here. This is going to control the docking lights on the front cap. Right below it, you're going to have a leveling control. You don't see a green LED light. You have to push up and down at the exact same time. That will turn it on. Now the green LED light means there's power to the panel. Up and down is going to control the front legs only. Auto level is going to level out your unit. Make sure your trucks pull out of the way. Hitch height, that's going to take it to its location right before you hit auto level. Uh, retract all is going to bring all those jacks up. Right to the driver's side here, you're going to have two 30-pound LP tanks. One on each side of the camper. Uh, they're both full. Regulator is going to be on the passenger side. Here's the driver's side access into the pass-through as well as your inlets for cable and water. Four cable inlets up top as well as a water inlet here to fill the tank. You have to use the knob to use that water. You got to go to dry camping. City fixtures will be just water off the water hose and winterization straight down. Hot, uh, hot and cold outdoor shower. Satellite inlet. Yeah, black tank flush. Just know your uh, make sure your valves are open and you're connected to the ground before you put more water in that black tank, just in case that black tank is full. You're gonna see a lot of these throughout your unit. These are little tap lights with buttons in the center. Manual on and off for the water pump. Furnace exhaust that gets extremely hot. Here's your front poles here. Coming off the triple axle on the driver's side, you're gonna have the rear bathroom. Black tank flush as well as the rear bathroom poles and the rear, ba rear bathroom connection. You're going to have two inlets for fuel. The front inlet's going to be for the generator. Rear inlet's going to be for the aux auxiliary hose to fill up uh, little 4x4s or side-by-sides. Um, to use this panel, you got to go inside and turn it on on the digital side underneath the monitoring panel. If you download the uh, app, you'll be able to do it on your cell phone also. You have a 50 amp hookup off the back side. Yeah, the rear porch with the ramp door with the rear awning. Coming on the driver's side here, you got you have three awnings total on the side this on this unit. You have two rear and two and one in the front. Outdoor entertainment is gonna be inside this compartment door here. So you'll have a full pass-through door here. This would be normally for like a trash can. You're gonna have a hookup for a TV, will be right here. Outdoor sink hot and cold with the outdoor fridge. Just know this fridge will not be on until you're on short power Let's go ahead and go inside your unit After we look up front here, you got JBL system outside that is controlled from Inside you have the water heater water heater bypass inside your pass through on the passenger side as well as the battery disconnect You have your other 30 pound LP tank in the very front compartment Regulators could be in the very front on the top you have a little black knob that points to the front or the rear that will determine on what tank you want to use. Let's go ahead and go inside your cyclone. Right when you walk in, your control panel is going to be right to the right of the door. At the very top, you're going to have the digital side. Again, you can get the app for that digital side. Uh, that will you'll be able to everything you see here you'll be able to control that's slides that's lights that's leveling basically generator everything you need to any light any switch inside your unit not labeled it's going to be lights right below you're going to have bedroom slide out just know when you're operating that bedroom slide out the bathroom door is closed the bedroom doors are open and that little cabinet door on that you see at the very top near the master bed to the left that needs to be closed otherwise by the time it makes impact it'll be too late um, main slide out here that's going to control these slides together these slides will come in and work as together one won't one, so they'll come in kind of together then moon one will move faster than the other um, awning that's gonna be for the front awning awning light now here you'll be able to tell the amperage being used like by cord coming into the camper this is showing 50 amps i am hooked to a 50 amp supply so that's going to show you that what you got working with if you're running at 12 volts it'll just show service none so 
as you see the thermostat if you if you hit the mode button once to acknowledge it and then hit it again to change what you want to do and adjust the temp up and down so now you're gonna see a few of these throughout your unit master bedroom you have LED lights on the top and the bottom side of the bed those are gonna be lights controlled right by the light switch here um, and then you're also gonna have so that light LED light and then the bottom LED lights can be controlled by the left left switch here now you're gonna have another thermostat that's gonna be for the bedroom um, TVs all set up individual lights as well as a charging station off to this side of the bed bathroom's pretty self-explanatory you got a GFI breaker off to the right of the sink as well as the light switch right above the toilet coming into your living area you have a 55 inch TV as well as your fireplace these bigger items are not going to work unless you're hooked to at least 30 amps now this JBL system you got three zones one's going to be inside one's going to be in the garage one's going to be outside you cannot control the different volumes but you can control them if they're on or off uh, big slide out here this slide out lights are controlled off to the right you do have um, your keys on your sink the additional piece for your couch is good at being stored right there during transport now up on the shelf here you can have individual tap lights as well as uh, light switches to turn it on on and off up above on that slide you're gonna have your microwave as well as your stove top this microwave is gonna be the best indicator if you have at least 30 amps unless you just want to quickly read your service um, that microwave will not work unless you at least have 30 amps right below you're gonna have the stove top just turn the knob over the little flame and then use the push button uh, igniter you just push and hold and then light switch just for the light above the microwave inside the garage we are prepped and ready for a washer and dryer. Here's your other thermostat here. Prepped and ready for a TV here. Rear bathroom. Light switch off to the left of the sink. If you look up when you come in here, you're going to have, again, any switch in your unit not labeled are lights. You're going to have awning extend for the rear and then for the side rear bed lift control the bed lift control to bring down this bed you this bed is not on a chain system so turn it off the AC so this this couch you got to use this couch to guide down this bed if there are little pins holding that bed up in the position it's in right now and you have to pull these pins So there's a pin just like that, each corner. You, you gotta bring that couch all the way up, pull those pins, and then that bed will come down with the couch. Now if you pull those pins while the couch is down, it will fall and hit you in the head. There are little pegs that bed stops on inside the track system. Those are adjustable. Uh, just no adjust one, adjusts the other ones. You have a nice big loft area up above. That's going to complete our video. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for choosing Lakeshore.